Number 23. It's Iron Maiden and the video for their new single, Speed of Light. Maiden were one of the biggest bands of the 80s, but metal is obviously still significant today and it's in some ways maybe more so as people are sharing all of this information online and it's still going strong and it's made it remarkably to number 23. That is Heavy Metal and Iron Maiden in the Five Live Hit List. Are you a Heavy Metal fan? Um, No, I'm not, but I did watch this video and it does make you realise that these guys have been doing this for 30 years. They are rich beyond Harry Styles' wildest (laughs) dreams. This is a money mountain that these people have been mining for decades and the video is all full of sort of skulls and uh, apocalyptic skeletons with swords and they or, or heavy metal seems to be about these kind of um, primeval battles for the soul of humanity and it's it's very um kind of uh, romantic as a, and uh, and sort of horror filmish and we, Wait, also kind of they, they inhabit a very strange world that seems to appeal but obviously has this enduring appeal and uh, you know good luck to the guys from Iron Maiden and all those other old guys banging out this heavy metal stuff it's sort of a bit Game of Thrones ish isn't it this yeah kind that's of right yeah middle world that people want to identify. yeah I mean in Britain, in Britain in particular I think we're quite kind of into all that you know it's a sort of druid kind of vibe it's sort of there's lots of all that going on at Glastonbury. So, you know, it's an interesting subculture that they have, but extremely lucrative for those, you know, who are in these bands that have been around, you know, almost since the, you know, the 70s. Well, let's speak to a younger fan. We've got Tristan Lineker, otherwise known as Tris, who's on the line, and he's a big fan of Iron Maiden and plays guitar in the metal band Detonator. I think we've got a little clip. <laughs> There we go. Tris, good evening. Good evening. There you go. Music going out on Five Live. What more can you want? (laughs) Yeah, exactly. That's fantastic. So can you explain it to me? I've been trying to get my head around this. Actually, for some time, I went travelling once and one of the guys I was travelling with probably about 10 years ago tried to get me into heavy metal and I listened to it for a good week and it started to sink in. But I I just want to hear from you. What is it? What is it? Um, I guess that's a really good question. I think um, generally speaking a lot of people you know you either kind of get heavy metal or you don't and I suppose that's due a lot of the time to the tonality of the music um, I mean for instance the sound of the guitar distortion can be quite divisive with listeners um, certainly it is a more sort of grandiose bombastic sound um, it does tend to be sometimes more aggressive as well in terms of the tonality so I guess that can put some people off. What's the appeal um, for you, though, when you're listening to it and, and when you got into it, why? Uh, I, the first heavy metal band I actually heard was Iron Maiden, and um, something about the music really just jumped out the speakers at me. Uh, I'd never heard anything like it before, and it's just so vibrant and uh, energetic for a start. Uh, and, of course, it's absolutely full of fantastic musicianship. So uh, not only have you got, I mean, if you take our maiden as the current example, you've got really uh, amazing uh, vocals from someone like Bruce Dickinson who's got like a high tenor range. Um, he's, you know, someone who's probably had classical training in his life, I should imagine. And this goes across the board. You often find with heavy metal musicians uh, that there's this intrinsic link between that and uh, this musicianship that's there. Um, often virtuoso guitar playing. Um, you know, fast, heavy drums, and it all comes together to make this incredible sound. So Iron Maiden, have they still got it, according to everybody in your world? I would certainly say that they've still got it. I mean, some people might not agree, and then you'll generally find with heavy metal that because people are so passionate about the music, um, it does tend to be one of those things where people do get a bit fickle and can disagree. Uh, Personally, as a, a Maiden fan for as long as I can remember, um, I think they've still got it, and that this track that they've released is, is testament to that. Well, it's done very well, uh, according to the British public, beating many other stories this week that you might not have expected. Iron Maiden still going strong.